The State of Israel is a miracle story. It is a prophecy fulfilled before our eyes. The founding of the State of Israel was unique in so many ways. Before it was officially declared a state, Israel already had its own national orchestra, the Israel Philharmonic Orchestra, its own university, the Hebrew University, and its own research center, the Weizmann Institute of Science. Amidst all of this, a pre-state government was developing the establishment and immigration plans for what would become the State of Israel. We are standing in front of one of the most historic buildings of the modern state of Israel. Right behind me, the pre-state government was located that was responsible for the planting of millions of trees, for the settling of the land of Israel, and for bringing countless immigrants from the four corners of the world back home to the land of Israel. From this balcony, David Ben-Gurion declared to the citizens of Jerusalem the partition plan of the United Nations in November 29, 1947, which was received with great joy. And even today, behind these walls, some exciting events are being planned that are directly part of biblical prophecy. Let's go inside and let's have a look. Now I'm inside the building and I'm standing in what is called the Ben-Gurion Hall. This very hall was the nerve center where most of the decisions were made that led to the establishment of the State of Israel. After winning the struggle for independence, David Ben-Gurion became the very first Prime Minister of the State of Israel and he also was the chairman of the Jewish Agency. Today I'm going to meet his successor and we are going to find out what the Jewish Agency is all about. So now I'm with the chairman of uh, the Jewish Agency, Mr. Isaac Herzog. Thank you, Dr. Buller, and thank you for your great activity in Israel. Well, thank you so much. You are the chairman of the Jewish Agency. That was the very first position that David Ben-Gurion had as a leader here in this land. Right. So um, the Jewish Agency still exists today, even though there is a state of Israel. So what are you doing today? So the story of the Jewish Agency, it was founded about a hundred years ago by the League of Nations, meaning whatever preceded the United Nations, and the Zionist movement to bring about the creation of a homeland of the Jews. Mm. And they did it. And thereafter, following the foundation of the state, we were commissioned to bring about the Olim, the Aliyah, the immigration to Israel, the ingathering of the exiles. Yeah. So we brought in over uh, almost four million immigrants, Olim Jews, That's amazing. back home. This year, only during the COVID, 3,500 mm -hmm. from about 25 countries. And the engine goes on and on and on, and we, this is our main mission. It's a national institution that is there to fulfill, in a way, biblical prophecy, you could say. Uh, undoubtedly, we are fulfilling a biblical prophecy. In fact, I believe today the Christian world has a major, major role to play in bringing about the fulfillment of the prophecy. And we are grateful mm. to Christians who support the idea of bringing about uh, Jews to their ancient homeland and in the, in the gathering of the exiles. Mr. Herzog, this was an incredible time well, with you. It's my honor and I want again to thank the International Christian Embassy for the outstanding work you're doing. <laughs> 